Hi ladies, I'm so excited to be able to show you my workout today. And this is the workout that more than 60,000 people saw in about a week's time. And I'm so happy about that because I think it means all of us really like the idea of getting and staying physically fit as we get to be more mature. Now, this is the workout that in the first eight weeks took my butt from this pretty lousy before picture to this. And that was only in eight weeks time. So this lower body workout is a wonderful way to really improve your hips and thighs, just everything below the waist. And what I do is I do this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, and I alternate on Tuesday and Thursday with an upper body routine. And I will go ahead and make that video next time. And hopefully I'll post a link below so you can see it all. Okay, let's get into this and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Okay, our first exercise is the squats and I'm going to be using the barbell. However, you can use dumbbells. And here is how you would do it with dumbbells, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure you knew that. But anyway, this is how you would do it with dumbbells. So it's very doable. No matter what your piece of equipment, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weight. And ah, this is 10 pounds on either side. So it's a total of 20 pounds. And I've just got it behind my shoulders. And that's why if you're going to do this, it is helpful to either do it in a gym or get a squat rack or use the dumbbells because you really do need a squat rack for safety if you're going to put the weight behind your head. Now, in squats, you stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly out, and this is a great exercise for the glutes, the hamstrings, and the entire lower body. And when you go down, you're just going to go down like you're sitting in a chair, just a little bit lower than your knees, and then use your glutes to push yourself back up again. Okay, we'll do three sets of eight to 10 reps. That is the end of the first set. After each set of reps all through this workout routine, you need to take a brief rest of from one to three minutes or exercise an entirely different body part. And I tend to try to do the latter to exercise a different body part during the rest periods, just because usually Monday through Friday, I'm having to be to work at eight o'clock. So I really need to accomplish my workout as quickly as possible. So what I normally do after my first set of squats is that I do an abdominal curl. And here's a look at what that looks like. And I believe I discussed this in my first video about my eight weeks results and I'll link it below. But as you can see, as you do those crunches, it's like you're bringing your shoulders in very tight. And when you come up, you're basically having a very rounded back. And interestingly enough, a PT saw that video and she said to me, Beth, you really don't need to be emphasizing all these crunches because as we get to be older, you do tend to have a natural sway in your back unless you work out to exercise these trapezius muscles and keep your shoulders back. And she said that my posture was a little bit like this, which I don't want also because I have been diagnosed with osteopenia, which is just the very beginnings of something that could become osteoporosis if I don't really work out. And that's why I'm working out is to avoid that. Instead of using that little ab machine, she said to do a plank and hold it for a minute because that strengthens our shoulders, strengthens our trapezius, strengthens our inner core. It accomplishes what sit-ups do, but it does it without giving you rounded shoulders. And how you do a plank and you hold it for about a minute or as long as you want to actually, you put your shoulders right over your elbows and you straighten out the middle of your body, put your legs a little bit apart. If you're just starting, you can do them like this with bent knees but I don't need to do that. I have a pretty strong core. And basically, you're just going to get in the plank position and stay with it for about a minute.
That is hard to do. It looks easy, but it really gets your muscles working here. Okay, we're ready for the second set of eight to 10 squats. One more tip, don't put the bar here at the base of your neck. That does nothing for you except put unnecessary strain on your neck. Put it at the top of your trap muscles, right there. Okay, here we go with eight to 10. That was 10. That is a good glute workout. And again, take a one minute to three minute rest break or do what I do between the second and third sets and that is a straddle stretch. Okay, after my second set of squats, that is again a little rest time and I fill that period by stretching out my legs in a straddle stretch. And I go forward for a minute, side for a minute, and side for a minute. So here we go. You had me falling so hard, baby, hard, baby. You yeah, know I get it. You got heads turning, heads turning, and you don't even try. Well, would you look at that? My glass is empty, glass empty. How about I get another drink, baby, drink, baby? Okay, I get it. You got fire burning, fire burning, right there in your eyes. So when you got then I go to the right side. Okay, now it's time to do the left side. And I will say that when I started doing this workout about five months ago, I could hardly get bent over at all. And you will get more limber over time when you do these stretches. Okay, that's the straddle stretch. Okay, we're ready for the third set. And remember, once you go down, when you come up, really use your glutes, keep them very solid, and bring yourself up using your glutes. Okay, here we go. Now, that's the end of the third set of squats, and normally I do just take a one to three minute rest break here. Next, we do three sets of eight to 10 forward lunges, and here's how they go. That was 10 sets and I'm tired. And you can use any size weight that's comfortable for you. Okay, between each set of the forward lunges, you take a little rest break, but I put some glute work right in this rest break. And you all wanted to see what I did to get my good results. So I'm going to show you this. 
And basically I use a booty band, but you don't have to, you can just do glute kickbacks without the band, but I'll show you exactly how I do them. And you just support yourself using a chair or a sofa or something like that to give yourself some stability. And then you're just going to kick back 20 times on each leg. hard. Okay, now we're ready for the second set of 8 to 10 lunges. Here we go. Those burn your glutes. Okay, now you can either rest or do the glute kickbacks with me. Put those to the side, take a little booty band, and these come in various strengths, and I will put a link below the video so you can see the glute bands. They're very inexpensive and they work wonderfully. Okay, here we go. And, and again, we do 20 on each side. Oh, you need to have the band close to your knees. Okay, now you do it on the other side. And when you're doing your glute workouts, in fact, any muscle building workout, try to think about your muscles, in this case, the glutes. What I like to do is I like to see my butt in kind of a white light the way I want it to be and really squeeze those glute muscles. You can hold down. That really burns your glutes, but just get through the pain because the pain helps them build and helps them reshape, and in my case, helps them totally build me a butt I didn't have. Now we're ready for the third set of lunges. We'll do eight to 10 on each side, alternating. Here we go. Our best days pass us by. At most long for a place that they never find. I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is up the ashes The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over is hard and again you do eight to ten reps and increase the weight by five pounds when you can get to 12 to 15 reps because you know it's time to add a weight then because you do these to exhaustion in each set okay you either take a rest break between sets and we'll go to a new exercise in just a moment but again I'm doing the butt kickbacks 
with the glutey booty workout band. And so I'll do those now, 20 sets on each side. Here we go. Most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is up the answers The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over The butt is burning, girls. Okay, that was the end of the glute booty kickbacks. Thank God. Okay, the next exercise is the deadlift. The deadlift. And they say, when you look around the internet, there's good, there's great, and there's the deadlift in terms of really helping your glutes get firm and increasing the size of your glutes, which I need firmness and I need size. Basically, you're going to have your feet about hip distance apart, and they can be straight or out to the side, and I kind of like them at a 45 degree angle. And you're going to end up coming down here and pulling this weight up to a straight leg, and you just go down the shins and use your glutes to bring yourself back up Okay, let's do our first set of eight to 10 reps. Cause I don't know why nobody changed me now. Cause I like, cause I like to be myself. If you're not agree, you can walk away. You can walk away, you can walk away. Something, something in my mind. Makes me the makes me the night. Woo! Okay, you deserve your one to three minute rest. Now we're ready for our second set of eight to ten deadlifts. Here we go. That really burns the glutes. Okay, take your one to three minute rest. Okay, we're ready for our third set of eight to 10 reps on the deadlift. And when you go down, you're going to stick your glutes out. And then when you come up, you bring them in and squeeze. It's down, bring them in and squeeze. Out, glutes out, bring them in and squeeze. Okay, we're ready for the third and final set of the deadlift. It's done, thank goodness. Okay, the next exercise is the hip thrust, and this is a fabulous exercise for building and strengthening the glutes. So here we go, let's just lie down on the floor, and you're going to have the bar right here on your hips, and I will say that they do have a cushion that you can put on the bar, it looks like a big kind of column, and it's about $10 from Amazon, and I just ordered it, because it is kind of painful to have this bar smashing against your hip bones, but anyway, here's how to do the hip thrust. You're just going to push your hips up and down. Knees apart, knees over your toes. Here we go. One. We
one more for good measure. Woo! That has really burned the glutes. You have earned your one to three minutes of rest. Okay, we're ready for the second set of hip thrusts. Again, eight to 10 reps. And at the top of each hip thrust, you squeeze and hold it a second and bring it back down. Now let's go ahead and do our one to three minutes of rest. Okay, let's go ahead and do our third and final set. Okay, that's the end of the hip thrust. We are finished with that workout, and you all asked that I show you that workout that produced such great glute building results, and so there it was. But I will say that for many of you who don't have access to the larger weights that I do, or a weight room, I have created another glute workout, which you can actually do in front of the TV. And so if you're not a subscriber, and you'd like to be emailed notification of that video when it comes up, I hope you subscribe and click that bell because that will be a fabulous little 30-day glute busting routine that we can all do to produce fabulous results in our glutes. Well, thank you for joining me on my workout morning. And again, watch my channel because in another week or so, I'll have my upper arm workout, which gave me these guns. And if you could like this video and or comment, that would be great because I hear that's a way to bring more people to these videos. And for some reason, I am loving fitness so much lately, I've been really, really, really consistently into it for five months, and it's making a great difference in my body. It's toning up my 62-year-old body as much as the 62-year-old body can be toned up, I have to admit. So thanks for participating, and I'll see you in my next video.